This tutorial is going to cover the new document dialog box in Adobe Photoshop CS3. This is a great tutorial for beginners and it for some of the experienced users it might cover something new that they didn't know. So to begin with we can go to file menu and select new or you can just press Control N which is the keyboard shortcut. You get this dialog box that appears and the first thing that it asks us is to give the document a name then we have a bunch of different presets that we can choose from uh, if this is the first time you're using it it's probably on the default Photoshop size which is 7 inches by 5 inches if you try out some of these other ones you'll notice that you have subcategories so example this is US paper standard letter size um, if I switch to legal size, it's 8.5 by 14. 8.5 by 11. So you'll notice that there's there's further options there. Now we can always do create custom and uh, 7 by 6. Maybe we want to put that in pixels. Um, I don't know. So. Um, now, the if you prefer working in inches over pixels and you want that to appear first instead of pixels, uh, you can change that in your preferences dialog box, which is located in the edit menu down at the bottom. Now, resolution, uh, just a little note about that. The higher the resolution, the larger your file is the higher the quality but also you know there's drawbacks so it depends what you're using this for uh, for example if you're going to print this out you don't need to get set the resolution over 300 even that's probably overkill um, most printers might claim to have well, most printers don't make this claim, but the, the largest claim that I've seen out there is probably a printer that could do 1500 uh, uh, DPI, which or dots per inch, which really only prints probably about 250 resolution. So generally you're good if you put this at 250, but file size is not really an issue for me so I keep it at 300. Color mode uh, you notice that you have some different color modes here the default standard for Photoshop is uh, RGB which is red green blue there's also grayscale which just prints it in uh, variety uses a scale from black to white and all the shades of gray in between CMYK uses uh, a percentage system. Lab color is basically um, it's it's basically well it's based on the human perception of color, and so it it works a little differently. It's not quite as accurate as RGB or CMYK, uh, and bitmap basically uses either black or white to uh, represent a pixel so those are your options uh, generally I keep it at RGB you can always convert it later if you if you really need to um, bit depth um, bit depth is basically how many colors are going to be available to you for now we'll just leave it at 8 and you can look up more information on any of this in the Adobe help menu so once you create your file, you can just go to press F1 and it'll take you there. Background contents is just uh, what you want to fill the background with. So if you select white, it'll fill that, that first layer or the background layer with white. Uh, the background color fills the first layer with whatever our current background color is so if you've used the program already and you set the background color as as red it'll fill it with red 
and then transparent uh, makes that first background layer uh, with an opacity of zero so it'll be totally see-through I guess um, some of you might want to look at some of these advanced settings color profiles uh, usually unless you know what you're doing you're gonna wanna just leave this as it is um, for pixel ratio, uh, this is only for if you're using video. So unless you're doing that, just leave it as it is. Uh, maybe I'll do another future tutorial on, on color profiles. That's that's important with, with Photoshop. But for now, we're just going to leave those the same. Device central, you can click on. That's if you're, you want to come up with a measurements for a specific device. Um, so that takes you to a, a separate dialog box. Again, that's for more advanced users. And then you can always save this preset. So let's say I want to save this as, as the practice preset. So if I was going to be making multiple documents at this size and with these values, I could just, it would be loaded in my presets. Um, the other thing too, if I have a file open, uh, let's say I have a picture open and I want to uh, come up with the same exact uh, dimensions for it. It'll be any file that I have open will be listed in here and you can just select it and it'll match it. So let's say I have everything, I can click OK. And you can see the document that I created. Another, long as we're on the subject of creating new files, you can always do file open to access more. Uh, some files that you already have. Open recent will show you recent files that you've worked with. Again, you can control the number that it shows in the edit preferences dialog box. Um, so if you only want it to show three or if you want it to show it 20, however you want to do it. Um, and then the if you if you click on browse this will open up Adobe Bridge so that's the third way that we can open up files if, if you have that um, you can also access Adobe Bridge right over here on the uh, control panel just by clicking on that icon so those hopefully that was uh, informative and I'd like to hear some feedback and comments on how to create a new document in Adobe Photoshop.